And again, one of the bits of feedback that we have sometimes on our Ask the Nurse service is people who are being investigated for lung ab abnormalities and where the, there is a difficulty getting a confirmation of cancer um, before the surgery. If you like the, the follow-up after, after the, the lump or abnormality has been removed, what will happen in terms of um, finding out if, if it has been a cancer that's been removed? Mm -hmm. So um, we have mostly um, three situations uh, when we have a lesion inside the chest. Uh, in the first circumstances, the lesion is very close to the big airways. Uh, and that's a good from that point of view that we can usually perform bronchoscopy and biopsy and clarify if the cancer is there or not. Second situation is the patient have a lesion which is uh, in the lung peripherally. And although it's not reached by bronchoscopy, it can be reached by CT guided biopsy or ultrasound guided biopsy, uh, which is basically a biopsy via the chest wall, which will give us also answer. But yes, there are circumstances where we can't be sure if it is cancer, if the, if the tumor or the lesion is very close to the rib, uh, then obviously the needle is not able to reach it from that area. If the lesion is too close to the heart or big structures, or if it's uh, behind the chest bone, or um, if it is a very small lesion, then it might be difficult to perform biopsy or preoperative diagnosis as such. So in these circumstances, we always consider how it is um, likely that the lesion as such is cancer, uh, which will be mainly assessed by um, how the lesion looks, if it is active on, on PET scan, and if indeed that is the case, then there's a discussion with the patient to clarify that we can't be sure if it's cancer or not, uh, but we can go ahead with the surgery and clarify the diagnosis after surgery. In the circumstances when the lesion is uh, on the periphery of the lung but not biopsible via a biopsy through the chest wall, uh, we can perform something which is called frozen section, which means that uh, we perform a wedge with special staplers during the procedure and during the procedure we will send a specimen to histopathologist who will look into the sample in the same time when the patient is in operating theatre under general anaesthetics and the histopathologist can clarify if the lesion is cancer or not. If it's not cancer, then there is no need to proceed anything more. If indeed it is a cancer, then we can proceed with curative treatment, meaning we will need to remove a little bit more lung to clarify that, uh, although we clarify that it is a cancer, we would like to also cure it uh, with a minimal risk of recurrence. So from that point of view, we mostly remove a larger part of the lung than just a wedge as such. Other options are that sometimes uh, if the lesion is very small, it might be difficult to biopsy it as well. Uh, so again, it depends on location. If it's uh, peripherally, we can do frozen section, then we go ahead. If it's more centrally, meaning more embedded in the lung and it's not possible to biopsy, then again, it's uh, on discussion with the patient if he prefers to go ahead with the surgery, with removing larger amount of lung, or if he would prefer to postpone surgery uh, at that point and for example continue with uh, follow-ups with imaging because then we can compare how the lesion is growing over time if the lesion is the same size or smaller that will be a reassuring however if the lesion is growing or if there is an increased activity on PET scan during the time then again it sort of more points towards a possible diagnosis of cancer.